Amish can't go to the fair and walk around? They don't have to go on the rides. Do any Amish kids do any 4-H clubs? Okay, so we were not allowed to go to the fair in my Amish community. Although I remember one time we went to the Fairy Town Tomato Show. It was like a little street fair. It was held on, I think, the first weekend in September every year. And my older brother uh, was 21. He was older than 21, so he had his own money. And he was allowed to kind of do whatever he wanted at that point. Well, he started going on Friday nights to this restaurant in town and eating the all-you-can-eat fish. And then they had like a game room in the back, and you could go back there and uh, play the jukebox and uh, play pinball. There was uh, air hockey and stuff back there that we used to play. So I used to go with him sometimes. And this one particular night, I'm not sure if we knew that this little fair was going to be going on, but they had this little street fair going on. Half the town was closed off. And we ended up, after we got done eating, we ended up going, walking up, and taking part in this street fair. And it was a lot of fun. There was like this little uh, arcade uh, tent they had set up, this whole tent full of just arcade games. I remember spending so many quarters in there. Like, it was so much fun. We stayed there pretty late that night. And uh, it, it was a really good time. And I always, um, it was always a good memory, you know. And uh, I'm pretty sure we went back. We made up an excuse to go back the next day to watch the parade because somebody had told us about the parade the next day. And, I remember being, uh, thinking how cool that parade was, you know, they had some, some cool vehicles and stuff going on in it. So that was my only experience with a fair, and it was just a tiny street fair. But if anybody's in the Fredericktown area, you should go check out the Fredericktown Tomato Show um, this following, or this uh, September. But we did not have, uh, we did not get on any rides, anything like that. We weren't allowed to go to amusement parks. We weren't even allowed to take tri trips for pleasure. So if we wanted to go to the, the beach, we had to go visit relatives that lived in, like my mom had relatives in Delaware. And I remember they went to visit the relatives. And since the beach was like 15 minutes away, they were allowed to go over there and spend time at the beach. But they weren't allowed to drive all the way out there just to go to the beach. In my community, that was considered a pleasure trip. And it was not approved of, really. Although my dad was from Middlefield, Ohio. And before he got married, he did go on uh, some pleasure trips. I don't know what kind of trips they were, but he traveled all uh, all across the West. Uh, I talked to him on the phone last night, and he said he, w he went to Tijuana, Mexico. So I had no idea that my dad had been to Tijuana in the 70s. Um, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, he was Amish still. He wasn't married. Um, he didn't get married until he was 29. So he had quite a bit of money saved up, and he used it to travel. Uh, for example, he'd been to the World Trade Center Tower and going up in, in the t North Tower. Um, I remember him describing what it felt like being up there. So my dad had uh, traveled kind of extensively. He was from a slightly more modern community than what we lived in. But he w he's a good person, you know. But we were not allowed to go to the fair. And as far as the 4-H clubs and stuff like that goes... Um, we, we all had farms, so that was our farming club, was our family, you know, and, and like we had a dairy farm, we had hogs, we had chickens. My first uh, chore when I was probably six and a half, seven years old, I had to start feeding the chickens every day. That was my, my first chore, and I, I was so proud to be helping, you know. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm old enough to do this. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show you, Dad, I can do this, you know, and uh, I started feeding the chickens and then the pigs, horses, you know, and uh, of course pulling weeds was something I always had to help with from about the age of seven on. That wasn't ever a lot of fun. And then as I got a little bit older, I had to milk cows, I had to uh, mow the grass, always a lot of stuff going on, uh, help plant gardens. So yeah, for us, farming was done at home. And even the parents whose, uh, or even the kids whose parents didn't have a farm, they at least had a horse and probably some chickens at the very least, you know. So they still had um, probably a couple horses. They still had animals to take care of. Um, so there is not really very many Amish kids that grew up with not having some animals or some sort of a small farm. So yes, they don't participate in the 4-H clubs and anything that, that goes on at the fairs and stuff like that. By the way, this uh, TikTok now allows you to make 10-minute videos. So... I'm just rambling away, guys. Sorry about that. But anyway, we were, not, we were not allowed to go to the fairs in my community, although there are a lot of old order Amish communities that are allowed to do things like that and even go on rides. 
like my dad's community, I'm sure he's been on a few amusement park rides, you know, because he, he was old order from Middlefield, but at the same time, he was allowed to do a little bit more, and so it was just my community. We were not allowed. Some of them are. God bless you. And for those of you who stayed all the way through, you now get to see me without my hat. Thank you for watching till the end.